but today I'm really, really, really excited because I am doing a tutorial and I know that I said that I wouldn't do a back to school tutorial because I thought that back to school tutorials are basically like all neutrals and stuff, but hey, I did a neutral look today and I thought it would be pretty good for back to school because, you know, I don't know, it's easy. And I didn't think that just the colors are good for back to school, but I thought like the palettes and stuff are really good for back to school. Like I use one palette and that's like a miracle for me. Um, if you want to know, if you know like how many palettes I use for my everyday looks, I use like all of my palettes for my everyday looks and I have a lot of palettes. So yeah, let me just show you guys. I use one palette. These are all the eyeshadow colors that I use and it's from Physicians Formula. It's great. I found it at my dollar store. I have one other color that I might do a tutorial on and I'm going back today to get all of the other colors because that's how great these things are. They are so pigmented and they are so pretty and I love them. Um, oh, and just so you know, if you have the Naked palette and you're thinking like, oh, I don't even need any more neutrals, um, I'm a neutrals girl and these are not like any of the shades in the Naked palette. These are really different and really pretty and they're they're soft and they're still pigmented. They're, just because I say soft doesn't mean they're not pigmented, but they are insanely pigmented for drugstore shadows, especially when you find it at the dollar store. Anyways, or in my case, um, in yeah, you can check out more Physicians Formula eyeshadows, or you can even use your Naked palette, which, I, as I said, is different than this palette. So anyways, I'm really happy right now, and I'm really excited to go back to the dollar store because I want to buy all the eyeshadows, all the Physicians Formula eyeshadows. That okay, I so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I'm just going to take that on my eye. Just a little dot. You don't really need too much. And you are just going to blend that out. Okay, then I'm going to be dipping into my new Physicians Formula palette, and it's in... Amber Minerals, and it's called the Mineral Eyeshadow Quad. Bit with the flat shader brush, and I'm dipping into the champagne color. So any like okay, champagne, so then you color. just pack it onto your lid, just so it gives you like a really nice base color on your and lid. And then the work. next thing you want to do is take Elf's Blending Eye Brush, dip into this tan color. And they're really shimmery. The shimmer's probably not going to, you're probably not going to be able to see it. You actually can't even really see it in the pan. Anyways, tap off the excess so you have this much on one side of your brush. Place it on your eye and then start blending outwards from the center of your crease outwards. Then blend in, then blend up. As you guys know in my videos, I always blend a lot. Then what you want to do is you want to take your highlight color, and this makes it really easy for you because it has a highlight right there. These all have shimmer in them, but it's not too, too much shimmer. It's like the perfect amount. Put some in the inner corner, that same brush, bring it all down here. Take a blending brush or you could take an angled brush. You could also use, um, I'm just using this little blending brush. You could also take, um, where is it? I have a perfect brush for this, um, the e.l.f. definer brush or defining eye brush, whichever you want to use. I'm using a little blending brush and I'm dipping into this color over here. It's like this amber, like coppery color. It's a really gorgeous color. And then I'm just going to take it on the very socket of my eye. Pack it on first. So it might seem a little bit weird, but I'm just drawing the shape first around my eye. And then I'm going to blend. Circular motions. Put on the champagne color that you put on your lid. All over down here. Take the crease color. Blend it into the edge. 
And then at the very, very, very end in the corner, put the darkest color. And then I'm going to do liquid liner. Let me find my liquid liner brush. And I'm also using the e.l.f. Midnight. It's a navy blue color, really, really pretty color. So you take it on an angled brush, or you could do like just a flat, straight one. Doesn't matter. Then let me just do my liner. Sorry, I can't talk much through this. Really have to concentrate. But just make your line as I'm making my line. use this contouring blush and bronzer so here's your blush and bronzer in one so this is what I use for lips I got a little complicated you could I use this and then I thought that it made me look kind of like pale so you, what you could do is you could use NYX beige that's a much better choice if you don't want to use two different um, lip glosses because I got another one from like the elf beauty book so it's a little impractical but I feel like for the eyes I you know I made up for it yeah anyways I will talk to you all very soon and I hope you like this video bye